In the first video about our project for an illustrated article, we focused on the page layout and the text, and in the second one, the main point was the illustration. At this point, we're almost done with the project. We just need to give the final touches with some matted textures, make sure the text is perfect and export the files. Let's start giving some character to the illustration with a little bit of texture. Now that we have the color ready, we're going to give it a bit more personality with the texture. That's also going to help us separate some elements to make it easier to read them. We're going to grab the tool Airbrush Spray and we're going to create a new layer and change the blended mode to Multiply. Then, to make sure the texture only affects the color layer we choose, we're going to left click on the texture layer and click on Clip to layer below. If we want to create just one texture for the whole illustration, we'll only do this once with one neutral color. Otherwise, we're going to be doing this for every different color.
We're going to repeat the coloring and texture steps with the second illustration. When we have both done and saved, we're going to go to the folder where we have our illustration, left click on it and go to selection from layer, create selection, then copy and go to the magazine file, then we can paste it. Before exporting the final file, we're going to place both illustrations and give the text the final touches. We'll make the headline more appealing and play with the size and style of the typography. And we'll also make sure that the rest of the text is perfect, that there are no massive white spaces and the character spacing is perfect. We can take how our magazine looks using File, Export Multiple Layers, 3D Preview for Binding. We can see a 3D approximation of our magazine and if we're not happy with how it looks, we can modify it. In my case, I'm going to put the layers on a folder, duplicate it and play with the size of the duplicated folder until I'm happy with its size. We can take again until we're happy, and with the text and illustration in place, we can go to Export Multiple Pages, PDF, and Export, either the whole file, or in my case, the two pages of the article. If you're going to print it, make sure the crop marks are selected before you click OK. You can also add information to your file, such as title, author, etc., on the last window, and then your exportation is done.